Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you some really simple and easy techniques to paint fluffy clouds and this really nice autumn birch tree. I'm going to add a little phthalo blue to some white paint and this is going to be the basic colour for my sky. The top part of the sky is going to be the darkest and then by adding a little more white as we move downwards we can get lighter as it moves towards the horizon line. Then I'm going to use the same dark paint that I used in the beginning to put in the water. We can just block out where we think our water is going to be. Next, if we add a tiny amount of alizarin crimson to our blue, it's going to give us more of a purpley grey colour. And I'm going to take my sponge and use this to block out the basic shapes for my clouds. Don't worry too much, just get a general sense of where the clouds are going to be. I bought my sponge at an art and craft store, but you can use any sponge that you have, a makeup sponge or a household sponge, just cut it into a nice little shape and just use that to block out your clouds. We'll wipe off the excess paint and then come in with our white and put those highlights on the top. The blue paint underneath was completely dry when I started to paint on my clouds. dab them on I'm using a mop brush to blend the colors together but you can use any dry soft brush that you have and all I'm really doing is patting the brush gently on the canvas and because the white paint and the grey paint is both wet, it's going to soften it and blend it together nicely. I think we'll put some more clouds on the other side just to balance it out a little. And I'm using exactly the same technique really really simple way to paint clouds. At this point you can come in with a filbert brush or a small round brush and add a few little white highlights here and there on the clouds just where the light's hitting the side of them. And with the same grey, I think we'll add in a little bit of something in the distance, maybe some hills and an indication of maybe a few trees or some buildings. Nothing detailed, just a little indication of something in the distance. Now we're going to make another sort of grey green colour And again with my filbert brush, I'm just going to block out the general shape of a few trees. Now I'm going to paint in the river bank. I've got my cadmium yellow. I'll dull that down a little bit with my grey green colour. Add a little white to it to lighten it. And we can just put in a bit of an indication of a riverbank on the right hand side. I'm not going to worry too much about details on this side might just put in a small little path and then we can put in a few white tree trunks. You can either use a small round brush or a liner brush would work too. Tiny 
tidy things up a little bit. And we can pull that green down into the water to give a little bit of a reflection. Now we can make a really nice rich green for the left hand riverbank. I've got my phthalo blue, cadmium yellow and I'm adding some cadmium red as well just to darken it up a little bit. I've got my fan brush and we're going to block out all of that riverbank on the left hand side. I'm using the very tips of the bristles of the brush to get that nice rough uneven edge and make it look a little bit like grass. Just fill all of that in. Now I'm going to put in a little bit of a footpath. I've mixed some white, a little cadmium yellow and green. I'll add a little blue to it just to give me a nice grey colour. Roughly block in where we think that path's going to be. I've added a little more yellow to my green to make it lighter and I'm coming in again with the fan brush and painting in some more grass over the top. We can add a little blue to it to darken it. I've got a small palette knife just to put some shadows in where the water meets the land. This is the same grey that I used before for the clouds but a little bit darker so less white added to it. I've got my medium round brush and we can paint in that birch tree. I'm making a really dark colour with phthalo blue and cadmium red, but you can also just use black from the tube. Painting a few markings on the tree. Now we're going to make some really nice autumn colours for our leaves. I've got my cadmium yellow and cadmium red again. Mix those together and we'll just dull it down a little bit with that green so it isn't quite as bright. And then we can add some cadmium red to the green that we've got to make a really rich dark red colour. I've got a firm bristled brush, it's a round brush, and I've put the paint on the tip of the brush and I'm just dabbing this onto the canvas to get in those leaf shapes. It really just is a matter of patting the brush on the canvas and slowly building up the shape of the tree. Once we've done that, we can come in over the top with our lovely burnt orange colour, slowly building up the lights and darks. Now we can add some cadmium yellow to it to make it even lighter. I've moved to a slightly smaller brush, so if you have one you could change it. And again we're just dabbing that brush onto the canvas. We've got those really nice yellow birch tree highlights on the end. Now we've got the bulk shape of the tree in, we can come in with our white paint and paint our tree trunk that really nice birch tree white. I'm just using a small round brush. I'm only going to paint one half of the tree, I'm going to leave the right hand side in shadow. 
it might need a couple of coats of paint just to get it really nice and white. And then when that's dry, we can come in with our black again and paint in some details on the trunk. A few little branches same black paint. If you don't have a small round brush, a liner brush would also do. Just use the very, very tip to get that nice fine point. Maybe a few little branches lying on the ground. Could add a few little flowers, maybe the last flowers of the summer as we're coming into autumn. Just a few here and there, whatever colours that you like. Some highlights on the path, just to make it stand out. And why not add some highlights on the water where that autumn sun is just sparkling on the top. Thanks for painting with me today. If you've enjoyed the video and it's been helpful, please hit that like button for me. See you next time.